Dr. Klein, you operate a large and diverse fleet of container ships, bulkers and offshore. How do you set your priorities for technical investments? Yeah, first of all, uh, for technical investments, I think it has to be an added value to the vessel. We calculate what is the investment and what is on the other side the savings, the expected savings, for example, on the fuel consumption side. And then we can calculate the payback time. And based on the uh, payback time, we set our priorities. Reducing fuel consumption uh, is an obvious benefit to, to charterers when you're making these, these assessments. But how can that be reflected in the charter rate? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how it can be reflected because today it's not really reflected totally in the charter rate. You see uh, maybe a little higher charter rates for vessel vessels which have a lower fuel consumption. But in some cases, the difference in fuel consumption per day is something about 5,000 US dollar. And this is not reflected in a much higher charter rate. But uh, I guess in the near future, we will see an increase. We will see an increase of the charter rate for the better vessels. Everybody is talking about a two-tier market, which means uh, one level, charter rate level, for the better vessels, for the optimized and modified vessels, and another level for the, let's say, uh, old designs. And when do you think that might come in? There's got to be a spur to make that happen. Yeah, as uh, all the charterers uh, focus very much on total cost, that means uh, focused on charter plus fuel, I think it will change in the near future. You've identified a number of factors that can save fuel but they have quite a wide range of payback times. Uh, in your experience, what gives the quickest payback? The quickest payback? Oh, I think uh, the most important three T's. T means uh, one is uh, trim optimizer, very short payback time, a couple of months. Uh, the second T is turbocharger, turbocharger cut out. Cost about, depends uh, on the engine, but uh, cost about 50,000 US dollar short payback time and the third T is training, crew training. Crew training is not, uh, not a huge investment but a very short payback time. And are there any investments that have too long a payback time to make them worth considering? Yeah, um, long payback time uh, depends very much on the size of the vessel. Let's take as, uh, as an example a new propeller. A new propeller costs between 500,000 and 1 million US dollar. And uh, for a large container vessel where you have a huge amount of uh, fuel consumption, there you can generate a payback time of less than one year. But for a smaller vessel, uh, let's say uh, 2,500 TU container vessels, usually the payback time for a new propeller is far too long. So across your fleet, which is, uh, varies in size, there are some ships that would be suitable for some uh, retrofits and some that would be unsuitable for that same retrofit. Definitely, definitely. That's what we have done. We have uh, more or less all our large container, container vessels already modified and uh, with new propellers, new bulbous bows. And for the smaller uh, vessels, we decided for turbocharger cutout, trim optimization, maybe a new coating, underwater coating for the vessels and things like this.